Hey guys, I'm Mike Roy with Real Cash Charters, and today we're going to be talking about making an eel skin plug, one of my favorite striped bass lures. Um, we're going to be using a Super Strike Sinking Popper. Okay, this has the black eyes, the green eyes is the floater. Um, not going to be applicable for the eel skin. Uh, that's a popping plug. This plug, I know it looks like a popper but with the way it's weighted and the concave face actually has a fantastic swimming action. It casts really, really well. Um, and it's actually probably my favorite, uh, one of my favorite lures to use for striped bass. And uh, also probably my favorite lure to put a eel skin on. Um, we've caught fish just shy of 50 pounds in this plug. Uh, it's a great lure, casts great, works really, really well. The eel skin just takes that um, benefit of fishing with an eel and just adds more appeal to your standard uh, plug. Um, so here we have um, the Super Strike 2 and 3 ounce uh, sinking popper. That's the one I normally use. Actually, this one right here is the heavier one with the red eyes. Um, just trying this out. This is my first time fishing it, so I'll let you guys know what I think of this. Uh, but normally I use the black eyed uh, sinking Super Strike Popper. Um, <clears throat> the eel skin, you saw me skinning the eels in my previous video. So this is one of the eels that we skinned. Cut back, of course, this is just the tail section, and the skin is inside out. So we're going to be using the blue, the darker blue on the top of the plug, and the uh, whiter color on the belly of the plug okay um <clears throat> i have a remove the hooks i put a 6-0 mustad sidewash hook on the back the back sidewash hook does a couple things uh well, i like to run a fairly long um tail here and it helps prevent the tail from swinging around and following up with the treble hook um and it also obviously helps to hook more fish having that treble in the back i mean i'm sorry the sidewash in the back so we're going to go ahead and slide our eel skin over our plug. As I said, with the darker uh, blue on top and the lighter whitish color on the bottom of the plug. I'm going to run this down. So I like to have a few inch, maybe two or three inches of tail hanging off the treble hook. I mean off the uh, sidewash hook, sorry. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to poke the hook point through the skin. Um, one thing to note, there is a seam on the bottom of the skin. I never go directly through the seam. Same when I cut the hook hole for my, uh, for my treble hook. Where I'm going to attach the treble hook, I don't cut directly on the seam because that seems to tear easily. So I go just off, maybe a quarter of an inch off to the side of the seam, and run that through just like that. Now I did use uh, just a standard hook file to sharpen this um, before I put this on. All right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take some bait rigging uh, waxed nylon floss. Cut off a piece about 12, 14 inches. We're going to fold it in half to a loop. We're going to take that and just do a simple half hitch, just like that. Okay, show you one more time. Take the line, double it over, and do a simple half hitch. Okay, now we're going to take the two tag ends and go back through the loop, just like that. And what this is going to form is a sliding knot, okay? Now once I tighten this down, it will not loosen, and the wax, uh, this wax nylon thread also bites down into itself, so it's super tight and uh, doesn't come undone. So I'm going to go right in the neck right over the plug like this and in the neck of the plug where it narrows down I'm going to cinch it up 
Okay. Go ahead and get this really as tight as you can get it. All right, now that knot is not going to loosen up right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple overhands just to make sure it doesn't loosen. Just like that, and go ahead and I can trim the tag end. All right, now I am ready to uh, cut the hole for just to get the barrel swivel through so I can attach my hook. Um, again, I don't cut directly on the seam. I cut just off to the side of it, the seam, and I'll try to cut um, across instead of up and down. All right, and that just helps to prevent the skin from splitting. I feel like when you go down the seam, um, if you cut right down the seam in like an up and down motion, uh, sometimes it, that seam will actually tear and it actually split the skin. So I prefer to cut it this way. The skin is a little tough to cut through. I just want a big enough hole just to get the barrel swivel through. That's it. All right. Now I'm ready to add my treble hook. For a uh, treble hook, I use a 4.0 VMC hook. Uh, I'm using... Uh, uh, 6X, I've used the 4X hooks before, the 9626, I've upgraded to uh, the 6X, they're a little bit thicker, um, thicker uh, gauge steel, a little bit stronger. Uh, when you hook really big striped bass, they do get leverage and they will bend the 4X hooks open, so I've upgraded a lot of my hooks to the 6X hooks, okay? Uh, you can cut 6X uh, open with these manly uh, super pliers, six and a half inch super pliers. I know some people seem to think that you can't. That's not true, as I'm gonna show you. Um, when you cut the hook, you're gonna take the, the shank of the hook, or the shaft is kinda like a triangle. So this is the pointed side, this is the flat side. Flat side down, I'm gonna take my cutters, cut through, just like that. And now very easily, I'm gonna open this. You do occasionally, if you go too hard here, you will sometimes break the hook. But if you go nice and easy, you should be able to do it without breaking it. And you want to open the hook just enough to get it over the barrel swivel. I'm going to go a little bit more. Just like that. Now I'm going to close the hook up, bend it back. I don't like, I prefer not using a split ring here. Just because, again, with that tail flapping over, uh, I don't want, I want to try to prevent the tail from following up and, and catching the hook point. Um, it does occasionally do that, but I found with the, with the side wash hook in the back, it does it, you know, maybe one out of ten casts. If you don't have the side wash hook, it's going to do it uh, much more frequently. Um, so the skin is all set. Now all I need to do is trim the excess skin on the front of the plug. I'm going to leave about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch in front of the thread of skin. Now it helps if you have sharp scissors, which these scissors are pretty dull. Again, don't cut too close to the thread because it'll uh, it'll slip back. Like if you cut all the way to the thread, the skin could slip under the thread. But with that knot that I just showed you, um, the thread generally uh, holds the skin really, really well and uh, won't slip back. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, this is all set. 
to fish. Uh, again, really effective striped bass lure. It has a great swimming action, and this little tail kind of kicks back and forth in the water, makes it a um, real effective lure for a striped bass, big striped bass. I could fish it in a wind, in a current sweep, um, even in, in uh, pretty heavy surf and it'll always uh, swim true and do what I want it to do. You also have the option, because they are sinking plugs, I can cast out and allow the plug to sink a little bit and work different uh, uh, areas of the water column. If, it's, if I'm fishing a shallow um, boulder field, I can uh, pick up the retrieve faster and bring the plug so it swims just uh, under the surface. Um, <clears throat> I store my eel skins in a tubware container. This container is just uh, has kosher salt in it. Um, as long as you keep it in a cool place in your basement, you keep it in the refrigerator, uh, they'll last uh, indefinitely uh, in the kosher salt. So thanks a lot for watching my video. Um, uh, stay tuned for other videos. I'm gonna have an upcoming video of how to fish uh, the eel skin plug with some live footage. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna shoot it because uh, this is a nighttime lure so I'm working on how I'm gonna uh, film this at night but uh, thanks a lot for watching